Hello everyone, welcome back. Can you believe it's April already? I hope you all had a lovely Easter. We had a nice chill one and I hope you did it too. I'm here today because I want to share a day out that I had a week or so ago with uh, my good friend Claire. And what we did is we went to a place called Hampshire Wardrobe. This is a place that's in Winchester. They are like costume hire for places in the area. So if you were putting on a play, you could go to them and you could hire costumes or look through their stores of vintage items. They've been going since 1978 and they have thousands of items in their stores and they have some fantastic staff who know so much about the costumes and every year they have a sale. That's what we went for. We went for their sale. I've been a couple of years ago. I went again. It was great. I'm going to pop in some video now of what I took on the day so you can see just how popular the sale is. <laughs> As you can see by that, I kind of got a little bit obsessed with the hat section. Uh, because of that, I actually bought several hats. And I thought a fun thing to do would be to show you guys what I bought from the Hampshire wardrobe sale. Let's dig in. I might save the hats till the end. Let's go with the other things I bought first. So first of all, I bought this dress. Look how fantastic it is. I'll insert some images of me wearing it, trying to show you this beautiful scaly pattern. So this dress is floor length. It sits really nicely on the arms. It has a lovely, almost like boat neck collar. It is very sheer. So you would have to wear a black cami or skirt or um, a little dress underneath it, I think, just for your, your own modesty. I've been trying to decide whether this is handmade or not, and I'm not really sure is the answer. But I think because of the waist, I think it might be from the late 80s or maybe the early 90s. But I'm not sure. If you have any ideas when this might be from, please let me know. One of the reasons I grabbed it is because it looked like it was really versatile. I like the idea I could just let it flow or I could cinch it at the waist. I also loved that this was a plus size dress. In fact, there were some ladies next to me talking about the dress and they were saying about cutting up for um, fabric. So I was like, nope, that's coming home with me because it's always hard to find plus size clothing in sales anyway. And if they're older than, you know, 20 years old, forget about it. So there you go, my first beautiful item. The next thing I picked up were these lovely red gloves. Now I'm pretty sure these types of gloves were worn any time from the 50s through to the 80s. It has a couple of sewn in marks here. I don't know if that was a label originally, but I just love this short little glove. I thought they were super cute. I kind of wish I'd had these for my Halloween costume last year. I'll pop a little picture here of my costume. I just love gloves like this. And I think if you've got something like a black dress uh, and you want something just to add a pop of color, how nice are those? Really dramatic. Love the cuffs. I think they're really, really sweet. The finger length is a little short on me, but I have quite big hands. So I was just pleased that these fit me, to be honest, because so many of the gloves did not fit me at all. Same with the shoes. And all the ones they seem to have in stock are quite small. Um, there is a reason for that. Actually, uh, someone I follow on YouTube, I'll link her channel here, called Nicole Rudolph, did a really fantastic video on why we only see small size shoes, small size gloves. Is it because everyone was small or are there other reasons? But I definitely recommend the watch of that. So I'll pop that below. Really happy with these gloves. And the only other gloves I have, I've got some brown leather driving glove style ones. And then I've got some long white gloves. So these are a great addition to my little glove collection. Now we're gonna move on to the hats. I bought three hats. In total, I wasn't really planning on looking at hats at all because I have a bit of a soft spot when it comes to vintage hats. I uh, I just love them. And I have already a vanity case full of vintage hats, but here are some more to add to that vanity case. So here is the first one. This is by a company called uh, Connor. Connor were actually quite a well-established hat company throughout the last century and, and before that and I thought that was a really nice little find. I just love the shape of it. It's so perfect for summer. Gonna go down, have a little picnic in the field with a flowy dress. Really enjoyed the vibe of this one. I just love it, I think it's so cute. And you can't go wrong when something is black and white monochrome. 
Okay, so the next one is a little bit, it's something I would normally go for because it's baby blue. So this is a beautiful late 60s, maybe early 70s, baby blue bray from Harrods. This is by Atelier Lucas at Harrods, that's Otto Lucas, who was a very well known milliner in the mid-century period. Let's pop her on. I'm still fiddling with the best way to wear it. I think I can wear it like a sort of a beret that way. I think it looks really cute with my hair color right now. I think you could also wear it with this bit kind of quite pulled up. I'm not really sure what I would wear this with yet, but I just knew that I really wanted it. The last one is my favorite one. It's a 1950s half hat. I really actually wanted one of these for my wedding and I was going to try and make one, but I didn't have time. So I went with the veil in the end, which was lovely. And I made it myself and you can check that out on my channel, I'll pop the video below. And here it is. How pretty is this little hat? Tinted blue and white, has this hyacinth in the middle with little pearls on it. And then we have these sort of vine leaf little motifs around side inside is a structure netting situation a bit like how i made my devil hat let's pop this on it just fits over half of your head like that it just goes past your ears just by your temple the back is the bit that shows off oh, i just love these type of hats i think they're really really elegant and this stays on pretty well i've got no clips or anything in it there's nothing to attach it apart from the structure that's being created by the person who made it this doesn't have a label on uh, it just says uh like japan inside so i'm not sure that could be anything from japan really i think it might be the flowers were made in japan it's very hard to read it did have a little red label in i think originally but that one's been cut out so i can't really tell you much about this hat other than uh, i believe it to be from the 1950s as that's when this style of hat was popular and I love it. So those are all the things I bought from the Hampshire Wardrobe sale. If you want to know more about Hampshire Wardrobe, I'll pop some of their links below, their Facebook page, their website. They have this sale yearly. Do be prepared to queue if you get there late. Usually it starts in the morning, but I'd recommend getting there maybe half an hour or even before. And it's first come, first serve. You can't save anything. So if you want it, grab it. Had a really lovely time. It was nice. It was Claire's first time there. She really enjoyed it too. She got one or two bits as well. That is everything for this video. I really hope you enjoyed my little haul of vintage items today. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. I make videos nearly every week and I hope to see you around. Bye.